So when I have two tangent vectors like that, uh, one with respect to uh, u and the other with respect to v, so these tangent vectors define the tangent plane. Okay, so let's draw our sphere again. Now, one tangent vector is like that, the other one is like this, okay? So imagine this is the dp du, uh, so dv, and this is dp du. Their cross product defines a vector which is perpendicular to both, which means which is perpendicular to the tangent plane. So their cross product gives us a vector, here I have written as np, it is defined as dp dv cross dp du okay so until now for a sphere we have been computing the surface normal by subtracting the point p right point p from the center so we were subtracting this and from here we were computing the surface normal but we could have done it this way also. We could have found how does the position on the sphere change with respect to two vectors on the tangent plane. So with respect to dp, dv. So we, we basically find the two tangent vectors at the point and then we take their cross product to compute the normal vector. So how are we going to make use of this? Now, um, assuming that our original surface is uh, parameterized as PUV, okay? And uh, our final surface, which is the bumped surface, is equal to QU, QUV. So the new surface is going to be the PUV, original surface, plus a displacement value, okay, at UV, multiplied by the surface normal at uv okay so this form is identical this form is identical to this form so what we are saying is that the new position q uh, is equal to the previous position plus some bump uh, amount okay some displacement or you can call it height times the normal, the original normal. Okay, we are bumping along the original normal. So, remember, our goal was to compute the normal vector of the new surface, so the normal vector of Q. So, how do we compute the normal vector at Q? We can use the tangent vectors. So, now, at this, uh, in this representation, if I compute dQ, du, and dQ, dv and take their cross product okay take their cross product the new normal is going to be dq dv cross dq du okay the new normal is going to be like that so how do i know the order of the cross product uh, is it important? Well, the uh, order of the cross product is important. So if you do it in the wrong order, your normal will start to point in the opposite direction. So for uh, sphere, uh, we can, uh, you know, I know that I must do dq, dv, dq, du, because I know the way uh, these parameters, when these parameters change, when v and u changes, I know the way, the direction I move on the sphere. But uh, alternatively, if you find that n prime is pointing in the opposite direction as n, then you can flip n prime. Okay, so it's not critical actually. You could use dq du cross dq dv, and then check by a dot product, check the angle between n prime and the original n, and if they are in opposite directions, you can flip the n prime.